Hello everyone, this is Brian again from Van and Solar Adventures, and this is a follow-up video. I posted a video on the unsuccessful charging of the Energy Kodiak. This is a lithium-ion solar generator, which I think is totally awesome if you can get it on sale or at the right price. This has basically the same capacity as the Yeti 1250, although I do have the Yeti 1250 chained to another 12 volt, doubling its capacity, but you can chain at least four or eight batteries up to this anyway, so it doesn't matter. And that's over 100 pounds. This is 20 pounds, so totally awesome. Anyways, the point of this video is to show a successful charging test, okay? So Energy, um, they sent me a cable that was not polarized correctly. It wasn't wired correctly. Um, and so they sent me another one for free. They didn't charge me, so uh, I want to thank them for doing that. I had one that worked, but it was super thin and it got super, super hot and I could swear it was going to potentially melt. So I didn't want to continue using it. Anyways, I got a new one. So I'm going to show this proving that it's charging. I'm going to turn it on. You can see it's currently at 10.26 volts is a current charge level. You can see the uh, battery level indicators. I've got four out of whatever, 10 bars in it so it's less than 50 percent charge and i have uh two 300 watt or 250 watt panels hooked up to it right now it's inside it's, it's late afternoon but it's still pretty good uh pretty good sun and i got them uh going into these splitters here uh uh i can actually add another uh, panel as well to these splitters and then this is the new thicker energy cable that I'm actually happy about because it will charge and not um, not uh, get hot. So anyways, uh, I like this. This is a Nutric connector. Oh, sorry, my finger's in the way. This is a, a Nutric connector. Uh, I can only, you can only get this that I can find on, from uh, energy. This is a Nutric connector to uh, MC4. And if you ask nicely, Energy will make one for you. And you simply uh, put it in here. Uh, you rotate it around. And then uh, you twist. And then it locks it in, which is really cool. It's pretty secure. And you can saw, see immediately that that charging light came on. Now, what was the charge level before? It was 10.22. Now it's at 10.38, proving that it is charging. Now, they sent me another cable. They sent me two versions in case they wired it wrong again. <laughs> so, anyways, this one is wired wrong, and it would not work. Uh, I'm really hoping, by the way, maybe in the next version of the Energy Kodiak, that they're electrical engineers. I'm not an electrical engineer, but I think you can program this in a way to accept it either way. And I think that would be a good move for them. Uh, anyways, I got a cable that works now, and it's not getting hot. This is cold to the touch. Very cold. I feel very confident, and I think the charge capacity, I think you can put over 600, 600 watts into this. I only have a total of uh, 400 watts. To So anyways, so here's a successful charging test. It is late in the day here, and so probably it will not fully charge. The sun's going down. I don't have perfect sun. It's going to go down behind those trees. So I'll finish charging this tomorrow and, and, and string in the, the last clip showing this. Uh, the max charge on this is a 12.2. Uh, so you, you can see it's, it's uh, you can, by the way, you can see already, remember, we started with four bars of power. It's already got five bars of power. So, or it's working on filling up that fifth bar of power. So by tomorrow, this will fully charge, so I'll add another clip to it. So this is the Energy Kodiak, uh, how, to, how to do the connections with the Nutric connector to MC4, uh, which you can ask nicely of Energy. They, they might make this for you. I think I paid them like 20, 25 bucks for it. And um, I'm gonna have to communicate which one is, uh, Hopefully, this, hopefully their electrical engineers will watch this video. This particular one with the red 
and black wire was oh, had the correct polarity whereas this one that they sent me uh, does not have the correct polar polarity it would not uh, it wouldn't actually turn that light on at all there was no connection and um, by the way in my last video I showed the solar basic connections you also may need an extender cable you can get an MC4 extender cable I think 5 foot 10 foot 20 foot 100 foot 200 foot whatever it is that you need from the point where you have your solar panels in 100% sun to where you want to store your your solar charging device all right so that's it for today i'll do a final clip when it's fully charged all right people this is uh brian from van solar adventures uh this is clip number two this is day number two because i started this test yesterday when there was only about a half an hour left of sun and thanks to those trees it blocks the last hour or so of sun during the day so it only charged for maybe half hour 45 minutes yesterday so it's the next day I think I've had roughly two hours of full sun, 300 watts uh, full exposure sun. And uh, if you remember yesterday, the clip left off, there was about 50% charge. Now on my energy, 12.2 volts is fully charged. You can see it's 11.91. I'll turn the unit on. You can see yesterday I had one, two, three, four, five bars. And today I have nine bars I think there's one more dot there there'll be, there'll be 10 total so it's 90 plus percent charged so basically in the next hour or so we'll be fully charged so uh, I think I started this video and it was like a 20 percent charge or something like that so basically it's 1100 watt hour capacity and so roughly three to four hours, four hours of full sun. So yeah, four hours of full sun. And here I am at 12.17. Like I say on mine, it's calibrated to 12.2 is a max. And then if I turn it on, you can see all 10 bars of power are fully lit. So it's fully charged in roughly four hours. So uh, that's about right. I have 300 watts of capacity. You never really get the full 300 watts. Uh, they're not that efficient of panels. So that's about the correct charging. And if I hooked up another panel, it, it would charge even faster. So that is a successful charging test of the Energy Kodiak with uh, 250 watt Renogy panels connected with the MC4 extension cable to the um, Nutric to MC4 connector cables, and they're even uh, they're slightly warm, but not very warm at all. Uh, successful charging test of the Energy Kodiak, and I want to thank the folks at Energy for uh, sending me the correct cable. And hopefully, if if their electrical engineers view this video, they'll know that this is this one's been properly wired. And uh, if anyone requests one, that they wire it this way. And uh, that's it for this video. Talk to you soon, people.